Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Dia's Frugal Life. I'm Dia. Thank you for being here and watching. Make sure to subscribe for more future videos. Plus, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Put a comment. Share if you think somebody can benefit from it. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm looking to see what these shelves, three-tier shelves, look like back here with the kitchenette there and my bed on this side, which is the passenger side. This is the driver's side. That doesn't look too bad. Not at all. I wonder if my TV would fit up there. So I think these adjustable shelves are a must for a no build build. They're extremely versatile. You can adjust the shelves to suit whatever needs at whatever time. You can always switch it up. That's what I love about it. I also like the plastic drawers, but I think for me, the shelves just seem to work better. Maybe a combination of both would actually be even better, but the reason why I would prefer to have the adjustable shelves versus the plastic bins with the drawers is because they are far more durable they will last longer and i can carry more weight if i choose to like a big blue eddy battery that i have is 60 pounds those plastic drawers won't be able to carry that also if i have appliances or my fridge if i decide to put that on my shelves then it gets heavy the plastic bins usually break plus another great thing about the adjustable shelves I can put them inside my home base and store food or preps or whatever I need if I don't happen to need them inside the van. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the new setup. I think this is a very versatile setup because I can have these shelves be anything I want. They can be my dresser, they can be my closet, they can be part of my kitchen. Um, it can even be just to hold extra gear. It could be your your trunk, your garage. It could be anything. That's why I like to share all these different uh, different layouts so you guys can get ideas and get inspiration and see what you want for your build or your no build build. I share ideas for no build builds because I just find them easier for me. And I like to rearrange, which gives me the option to do that. If I had built something, it might be too heavy or it might be screwed on here and then I can't rearrange and I actually enjoy rearranging. <laughs> and I've been showing you quite a few of those. So um, I hope that you have enjoyed those and hopefully there are more to come. But anyway, for me, I still have to put my things in here but this is going to be part of my kitchen most of it is going to be my kitchen storage then under my bed once I raise it up it will be where I store my extra gear and my clothing and that's pretty much all you need to live comfortable in a van that's it if you have extra gear if extra things then consider a storage unit but other than that it's it's plenty so thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you loved about it. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for watching Dia's Frugal Life. I'm Dia, and if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe for more future videos. Hit that thumbs up. Put a comment on there. All that good stuff. You can also join the channel and become part of our coffee club. Thanks for all your love and support. Bye, guys.